Hi, everybody. Dugras here with Dugras Reports. What's in my wallet for the third quarter of 2023? You may have picked up on previous videos I've done along these lines. I like to present these as more of a retrospective of what I've done throughout the quarter rather than doing them at the beginning of the quarter as some creators do. So let's go ahead and dive right in. First up is the City Custom Cash. I actually picked up this card fairly recently, and there's a couple things I'm using it for. First of all, it has a 0% APR, so I can use that to move some funds around as needed. Secondly, it's just something that's going to make a good fit into my wallet. Um, I'm not exactly sure which one of the rotating categories I'm going to use it on in the long run. Right now, for this current monthly billing cycle, I'm using it for dining. So I'm getting 5x city thank you points on all of my dining purchases. There's kind of a debate in my mind about, you know, is this a long-term fit? Because my wife also has an Amex gold card. Um, I think I'm starting to really like city more and more, especially with transfer partners like uh, Wyndham and Choice Hotels, which are somewhat underrated, but I think they offer a lot of value for the intermittent traveler like myself. We'll see how that works out, but uh, good long-term fit, and of course, it is no annual fee. Next up is the Chase Freedom Flex, of course, in the quarter win right now, uh, July, August, September of 2023. The bonus category is gas, so I'm using this for quite a few gas purchases. I've just about got it maxed out. Now, my wife also has this card, so I can always turn to hers for even more value. That's the only thing we're using it for right now. Next up is the Capital One Venture X card. This tends to be our everything else card when we don't have a specific category in mind. Can't use Apple Pay, that sort of thing. Two Capital One points for every dollar spent. Now, here's something else interesting that it does. It gives you President's Circle status with Hertz car rental. This came in handy very recently. In fact, just this past weekend, uh, a full weekend ago when I went to the creator meetup in Las Vegas that was put on by Luke from Luke's Points and Miles. And um, I was able to use the present circle status. You see, there was a big like rainstorm and flood on Friday night in Las Vegas, which delayed everybody. So everyone was getting into the airport at the same time. After already standing in line for 45 minutes just to ride the rental car shuttle from the airport to Hertz and the kind of pod where all the rental car places were located. Boy, it was really nice to be able to point to the board and see my name up there, uh, which meant I was able to skip the counter. There was only like one or two people working it. So that would have been probably another 45 minutes to an hour of waiting in line. I was able to go directly out to the parking garage, uh, just pick out the car that I wanted. The keys were already in it and drive away. Now I had rented a midsize sedan and I actually ended up with this big old SUV that you see in the bottom middle picture. It was a little bigger than what I wanted. They were already kind of picked through at that point. Um, but hey, I'm not complaining. Got the whole thing for a very reasonable price, which I'll be coming back to in just a few moments. Before I go any further, on this particular YouTube channel, I talk about finding epic value, including, but not limited to, credit cards for the average American. If that sounds interesting to you, Please subscribe to the channel and please click the thumbs up button. In addition, some, but not all of the cards in this video do have referral friend links, referral links, you're my friends, uh, down below. If you appreciate this channel, you find any value in it, please check those out. I know those will be there specifically for the Freedom Flex that I've already mentioned and the Capital One Venture X. Let's move on. Next up is the U.S. Bank Altitude Reserve card. This card lives on my cell phone. I don't actually carry it around, and that's because it gets three points per dollar spent on mobile wallet purchases. In other words, tap to pay. In my case, it's Apple Pay. That is used frequently by me anytime Apple Pay is an option, just out and about spending. Also, I have my home and auto insurance from State Farm, and they let you pay right on your phone using Apple Pay, and I end up racking up a fair amount of points that way. I have said it before, and I'll say it again, the US Bank Altitude Reserve is the ultimate car rental card. So with the Cap One 
Venture X, I mentioned getting President Circle status, but I didn't actually use the Venture X to pay for the rental car. I used this guy, the Altitude Reserve. And as you probably have heard, it has real-time rewards where you get to redeem for travel purchases at 1.5 cents per point. Uh, what happens is you will get a text message, which is exactly what it looks like on the right edge of the screen here. And you'll see that I used 34,000 rewards to get a statement credit of $510. Now the rental car itself was uh, just a touch under $310, that top box showing there. What Hertz and many other rental places do is they'll put a temporary hold for about $200 more than your purchase and the Altitude Reserve pings it off of that temporary hold, which is why I have a credit of $510 and the actual expense was only $309.83. They must round up to the nearest dollar or round to the nearest dollar then add the 200 bucks or something like that. That comes in handy as well because you know my rule is I don't dip into the family budget for any of my trips. So that $200 also makes kind of a slush fund for meals or attractions or those sorts of things. So it's a somewhat limited use card, but boy, when it comes in handy, it really comes in handy. Next up is the Wyndham Rewards Earner Business Card issued by Barclays. And this earns Wyndham points, of course. The big uh, value proposition is that it earns eight points per dollar at gas stations. So I will frequently buy like Amazon gift cards or other kind of gift cards at gas stations for my normal spending and or other things and um, help rack up a lot of Wyndham points. This past summer, I used those Wyndham points to transfer over to cottages.com, which is something you can do internally through Wyndham. You have to call them. And I got this lovely cottage called the Lundy Lodge. I did a whole separate review, both on the lodge itself and how to use those Wyndham points. You can find links either up in the corner or down below for that kind of information. And it was such a good deal, I'm probably going to do it again. It can also be used for Vacasa, which is the same idea, sort of like a Airbnb competitor um, in the United States. Cottages.com is in England. Vacasa is in the United States. There's another batch of these kind of rental homes called Landall Green Parks in different European countries that I haven't tried or explored. Maybe someday I'll look into that. If you want me to look into it, just let me know. Next up is the Chase Air Canada Aeroplan card. Apparently, I'm loving lots of MasterCards this particular quarter. Now, I'm not putting a lot of spend on this card, but um, I got the sign-up bonus. I transferred some Chase points over to this card when there was a bonus. And this really came in handy back in July when we took our trip to England and Sweden, which was part of third quarter, which is why it's getting a mention here. Uh, between now and the midpoint of next year, 2024, you can use an unlimited amount of Aeroplan points to erase travel purchases at a value of 1.25 cents per point in their own pay yourself back feature. And that came in handy for things like uh, parking, tolls, public transportation, trains, those kinds of things. And I did use that a little bit for the trip that I took to Las Vegas a week ago also. And maybe I'll just keep it around for parking garages and those kind of things that you tend to encounter on almost every trip that it's hard to pay for from somewhere else. I did a whole separate video on how the Aeroplan card saved my vacation. And I'll put a link up there or down below in a pinned comment or the description box. So let's take a look at the full spectrum update. That means all cards between myself and Mrs. Dugras, my player two, including business cards. And it looks like this. So coming into the quarter, 27 different cards. If you want to see what any of them are, simply pause the video. Now that we're into the quarter, I've added two more, the custom cash previously mentioned and the fifth third bank 1% cash back card. Now, lest you think I'm crazy and wanting 1% cash back my purchases, no, it has a 0% APR for 21 months. That's why I opened it. I did a whole separate video recently. Again, links in all the normal places if you want to see why I picked up the custom cash and the fifth third bank card. 
And there it is. That's my third quarter of 2023. Let me know if you have questions on any of those cards. I will try my best to personally answer each individual comment and question. Please remember to click thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, may your spending be frugal and may your points be plenteous. Thanks for watching.